Hey guys, it's Ms. Shelton again. Now we're going to go over the assignment Changes for America. Now, I also assigned you guys a book about Abraham Lincoln and about his life just to kind of give you a little history and a little background about Abraham Lincoln before you guys read this passage. All right, so here we go. Changes for America. There were many events that happened in American history. One of the most symbolic and well-known is Abraham Lincoln's work to free slaves. In American history, African Americans were forced to work for white people as slaves. The country was split over this issue. Half of the country favored having slaves work for them, while the other the half opposed, which were against, slavery. Abraham Lincoln was president during the part of the time of the Amer in the in this part of time in American history. He did not agree with slavery. He served as president from 1861 until 1865. Throughout his presidency, he worked to free slaves and abolish slavery. The Civil War began in America. It was fought over many issues such as slavery. The country was divided into North versus South battle. At the end of the war, Abraham Lincoln abolished slavery with the Emancipation Proclamation. This was a document that stated slavery was no longer legal in America. Sadly, not everyone agreed with Lincoln. One man named John Wilkes Booth assassinated Lincoln because he did not agree with his decisions. And even though not everyone agreed with his decision, the end of slavery forever changed the United States of America. On our next slide, guys, is going to be our questions. What is the main idea of this text? So let's go back and look and think about what this entire passage is about. So we know that there were many events happen in history. The, um, one of the most symbolic and well-known is Abraham Lincoln's work to free slaves. And this entire passage right here is talking about how he did this. So this passage is about how Abraham Lincoln helped in slavery, all right? It talked about how they were forced to work and that he didn't like it. And he was against it. He did his part during um, that he didn't agree with it. And it's telling you when he served as presidency. And throughout his presidency, he worked to free slaves and abolish slavery, which means in slavery. So here, what is the main idea for this text? So the main idea here is Abraham Abraham Lincoln helped in slavery. That's what the entire passage is talking about is what he did and how he helped to end slavery. What is one key detail to support this? So let's think about and go through here. Um, what, let's find a key detail that we could, that knows what, or tells us that the entire passage is talking about how Abraham helped in slavery. So the one I pointed out to you earlier was throughout his presidency, he worked to free slaves and abolish slavery. Slavery. That right there is a key detail for our passage. So we'll go here and we'll type in. Throughout his presidency, he worked to free enslaved people and abolish slavery. Uh-oh, I forgot my S there. Enslave. There we go. Now it's asking, what is another key, del key detail to support the main idea? 
So we'll go back up here and let's look for another one. Um, so they talked about the war and it was fought over slavery. Um, it was the North versus back at the end of the war, Abraham. Here we go. At the end of the war, Abraham Lincoln abolished slavery with the Emancipation Proclamation. So we'll get our highlight. We'll move our little highlighting. Whoa, not the whole box. Just a little tool. Oops. Let's grab our little tool and start here. At the end, Abraham Lincoln. At the end of the war, Abraham Lincoln abolished slavery with the Emancipation Proclamation. So we'll highlight that. Then we'll go back and we'll put it in our question. At the end of the war, Abraham Lincoln abolished slavery with the uh -oh, Emancipation Proclamation. Remember, that was the document that made it stated that slavery was no longer legal in America. Did everyone agree with Lincoln? Well, remember here in the um, third paragraph, sadly, not everyone agreed with Lincoln, right? Nope, so not everybody agreed with him. Um, and also up here too, um, that's when it talked about um, the country was divided, all right? So the country was also divided in the war, north and south. So we'll underline that, and then we'll go back to our passage and type... No, not everyone agreed with Lincoln. Half of the country did and half of the country did not agree with him. Let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see. All right. And how did you think America would be different today if it weren't for Lincoln? So right here, you're going to write how you think. All right. This would be the, this answer right here will vary person to person. Um, you know, some examples, for instance, would be that it would be different um, if Lincoln had not abolished slavery. It would be very different today. Um, so this right here would be how do you think that America would be different if it wasn't for Lincoln and him abolishing and ending slavery? So that's where you'll put your answer. All right, that's going to wrap up our Changes for America assignment.